light, green light, green light. Please, no! It changed before I could get to it. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If this is the first video you're watching of me, my name's Allie Merwin. I am a sophomore at the University of Georgia. And right now I'm going to the post office because I have a PO box. If you want to send me some mail, feel free. This is my PO box address and it's always in the description. I've gotten a few letters from subscribers and they're actually like the sweetest letters ever and it makes my day and I put them all in a little box and I read them just all the time. There have been a lot of things that have happened recently that I needed to update y'all on and I haven't posted very frequent, frequently recently because I was in the hospital for a day, uh, not a full day, just uh, being dramatic, just a few hours. My parents were a little bit worried because actually a girl, Savannah, if you're watching this, I absolutely love you and hope you're feeling so much better. I know she is because we've been texting, but she went on my Jamaica mission trip and um, when she got back, she got dang like she got dengue fever from going to Jamaica for the mission trip. And so I was experiencing like very similar symptoms and dengue fever is very rare and very serious. So my parents, I had like a 104.7 fever. It was insane. And so my parents took me, like my, my dad actually drove up to Athens and brought me like medicine and Chick-fil-A and orange juice. And it was the sweetest thing. And then a few days later I was like so much worse. And so my parents had to come up and pick me up from Athens and take me home. And it was just horrible. I felt like every time I would swallow, I felt like I was swallowing knives and I would be freezing, but I'd be sweating so much. And it was just horrible. It was just so bad. I was sick for like two weeks. The day I had to come back to Athens because I had a test. So my mom drove me, my test was on a Thursday and my mom drove me back on a Wednesday. And she, like I felt horrible and she was um, giving me some medicine and I took it. And then my, the water bottle that I took the medicine with was on my bed and it fell on my laptop and it killed my laptop. Like it, water got on it. So then my laptop stopped working and I needed it because I was studying for a test. And so then I had to go, I was like so distraught and crying and I had to go to Simply Mac to get it looked at and they told me it was going to be $1,400 to fix it. So I started crying in Simply Mac and it was horrible. And so then I had my old laptop um, at home. So my dad had to meet us halfway, he brought me my old laptop because I needed it to study. So that happened and then I studied. I actually ended up getting a 95 on the test, so happy about that. But then the next day after my test, I took my laptop into a different place called You Break I Fix. So, uh, and they fixed it for 140 bucks. So, You Break I Fix, you're awesome. I still hate that I had to pay $140 to fix my laptop, but it's better than 1400. I was so grateful and they were so awesome. They got it done so fast and it was a lot cheaper than Simply Mac. So if you ever have any damages on your laptop or anything, don't take it to Simply Mac because they will rip you off. Sorry, don't wanna talk bad about any brands or anything, but I just think that's a little bonkers. I'm feeling so much better now. I'm gonna talk about the huge update that this video like actually is specifically about. I'm really excited to share this with y'all. I don't like sharing updates until I know they're like certain. And this is pretty certain. I don't have anything actually booked yet but I wanted to talk about this because it's going to be happening within the next like month and a half and I kind of want to put this out there just in case anyone can give me some tips and tricks before it happens. I am moving to Los Angeles! Woo! It's only for the summer. I'm not moving there permanently because I am still in college. I have two more years of college and I want to embrace it because I love college. I got an internship in California for the summer which I'm so grateful for and I'm moving myself to California I literally can't believe it like I've always wondered what it'd be like to live in California I just think it's going to be insane and such a cool experience but such a different experience than anything I've ever experience <laughs> won't be in the city of Los Angeles I'm actually gonna be in the Playa del Rey area I love that because I'm such a beach gal always always wanted to live by the beach because I'm moving out there literally on my own none of my family members are moving with me none of my friends are moving with me my my one roommate Abigail is actually gonna be out in LA but she's living in West Hollywood so like 
we I don't know how much we'll see each other. I'm like so I'm doing this move on my own. It's extremely expensive. Your girl has a pretty hefty rent bill coming her way. But like this is an investment in my future and I'm doing this on my own. My parents aren't paying for this. I'm doing this all on my own. And so I'm actually really proud of myself because I'm supporting myself and I'm supporting myself here in Athens and I'm supporting myself in LA. And so I'm proud of myself. I'll be back. <laughs> I'm struggling. I have so many things in my hand. Ooh. Oh my goodness. What? This is so cute. I got some letters and I just want to cry. I'm going to open them on camera. I've been wanting to let you know how happy your vlogs make me for a while now, but never knew the right way to do so. But when I saw you open a P.O. box, I knew it. Thank you for making me smile. This is her name. I really don't want to mess it up. So, but oh my goodness. P.S. I included some of my favorite teas in a small gift. I hope you enjoy it. Ah, that makes me want to cry. Oh my goodness. She sent like really cool postcards. That's so cute. Life is nothing without friendship. That is the sweetest thing I've ever seen. She gave me a bunch of teas and confetti in this and this is just the sweetest thing and the sweetest little postcards and a bookmark and a sweet, sweet letter. And I just wanna say thank you so much. This honestly means the world to me. I could cry buckets of tears right now. I watch Anna, oh my goodness. Okay, so Anna's a girl who's actually DM'd me before and she has cerebral palsy and she has a YouTube channel, so I'm gonna link it down below. Um, it's the cutest YouTube channel and she really like shows y'all what like her daily routine is like and it's really really cool and inspiring dear ally hi i hope you're having a great day at uga and of course that you're feeling better i just saw your instagram story and thought i would write you a get well soon letter even though you'll probably receive this letter way after your hospital stay i thought it would never be too late to send my well wishes since you've inspired me and been so kind to me throughout my journey on youtube i hope to maybe meet you in person one day have a great day and go dogs love your friend anna montaldo that is the sweetest thing ever. She is actually like, guys, seriously, go watch her videos because they're so cool and she's so awesome. So thank you, Anna, so much for writing me this letter. Thank you, thank you, times a million. Like, I don't think people understand how happy it makes me to receive letters. Oh, I just, it just makes my day. flags yesterday and it was so fun they like closed down the park for UGA students we had to pay like 30 bucks to go which is actually pretty good and it was so fun I vlogged it so that vlog will be up soon but I just wanted to continue the q and I don't really have anything to um I'm, I'm don't any I don't really have anywhere specific to drive to but I wanted to continue the drive with me Q&A so um, I'm just driving to McDonald's I guess. I think the last thing I was talking about was that I'm just excited to have a new lifestyle like a, a different lifestyle and do something different because I've lived in Georgia for the past like 12 years of my life and I've never lived on the west coast. Before I lived in Georgia I lived in Chicago and then I lived in Australia for like six months so that was like beachy kind of I guess tropical-ish but I've never lived on the West Coast, so I'm really excited to experience it. I would really love any tips and tricks on like anything in California and like what restaurants to go to, what to do, because I really do, I wanna go explore and stuff. Um, I'm not gonna have a car because it costs like $2,000 to ship it there and back, and then gas and parking is so expensive, so I'm really gonna be relying on Uber, and I've heard about like something called Zipcar, so I've been looking into that. But yeah, if you have like any any recommendations on what to do in those instances where you don't have a car, let me know. A lot of the questions that I saw were, do you have a boyfriend yet? Nope. My dating life is as dry as the Sahara Desert. A lot of people ask if I ever like get sad that I don't have a boyfriend or have never dated or like look at people in college that are like dating and are like what the heck when am I gonna get a boyfriend and there are I'm not gonna lie there are those times where I'm like in that mood where I'm like oh my gosh I also really enjoy being single being very patient and yeah I mean it would be great to like have someone who like really wanted to invest in you and like love you and stuff but I know that that'll happen one day eventually hopefully 
So I'm not really rushing it. I'm, I'm kind of just trusting in God's plan for my life and that's really all you can do. I feel like the way that the world maybe wants people to look at dating and like how it's portrayed on social media and stuff isn't the way that God wants us to look at dating. Because I feel like in this day and age, social media is such like a huge thing where people look at it and see this timeline that everyone else that they're following is on and think that they have to follow that exact timeline in their life. Like literally a ton of my friends have just recently gotten engaged. Some of them are even pregnant and I am sitting over here never having dated anyone, never having kissed anyone. And I feel like some people in this day and age may be embarrassed about that because of the social media way of life and thinking that they have to be like everyone else but I just want you to know that if you're in my position or in just any other position where you might like compare yourself to people on social media that's not how God created us that's not how God created this world he doesn't want us to like think that just because someone else is pregnant or just because someone else is getting married that we have to like be sad that we're not doing that as well you know um and so yeah I'm just like literally going with the flow of life and I really don't think about guys that often because I know that whenever the right time comes that'll be the right time so I've just kind of go with the flow of life <laughs> great fries McDonald's has the best fries honestly how do you see yourself in 10 years asked rosemary in a teacup that is the cutest instagram handle ever i see myself doing so many different things i am not someone who can just focus on one thing i just have a ton of passions so i just see myself doing whatever makes me happy and wherever god places me i would love to be doing maybe some acting things i would love to be doing a ton of stuff with social media with advertising with anything i would also i mean i guess in 10 years i'll be 30. i'd like to be married and maybe have a kid i don't know madeline ruth asked how do you stay connected with god even when you are busy with college i am involved in campus ministry called wesley slash freshly um uh, as a freshman i joined freshly and it's basically a campus ministry at uga for freshmen and then the like bigger campus ministry of it is wesley which is for every grade i just interviewed to be a small group leader for freshly next year and i got it so and i actually i interviewed um last year to be a small group leader and i didn't get it i actually got put on freshly prayer which was so awesome it was an awesome experience and i decided to try again for small group this year and i got it if you're gonna be a freshman at uga next year you can request me to be your small group leader if you want which would be awesome so i'm excited for that freshly is on monday nights and then wesley's on wednesday nights. that's really awesome because i get to like go to church mondays and wednesdays so that's during the week too um and then i also go to church on sunday so i get three really solid sermons a week I send out daily devotions every morning so if you want those they're always the instructions to get them are always linked down below you just text the message at your j to the number 81010 and i think those really help because it just gets your day started on like a really solid positive note the key to staying connected with God while you're in college is to be intentional about it. Find a campus ministry to go to, find a great church, find friends that will like push you to, to grow your faith. I'm gonna stop the Q&A here, but I just wanna say thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every single person that subscribes to my channel and that watches my videos. It means the absolute world to me. And if you have any video suggestions, comment them down below. Subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everyone. Have a great day. Hand hug. Ooh.